So, this is a weird video. I'm, I gotta take this rental or uh, loaner car back to the Subaru dealership for my mom's and pick up her car. She had to get it inspected. And it's this brand new Subaru, man. This thing, it steers when you don't want it to. It stops when you don't want it to. Uh, it's weird. I don't like driving. Like if you come to a stop sign with your uh, wheels cocked a little bit, it'll automatically straighten up your wheels. Which, you know, every good driver should know that already. But sometimes you, you're in a turn on a stop sign. And it does stupid shit like that. Like AI ain't, ain't all that, man. Come on, man. I got time for that. Texas. Goddamn Texas and Philadelphia. Get out of here. You hear that, devil dog? We don't put up with Texas crap here in Philadelphia. You don't even know how to drive. Drive in fucking cow fields, baby, but you don't drive around city streets, country burbs, with hills. Yeah, so this car is weird. I mean, I guess it, uh, some of the safety things I, I'm going to say are cool uh, for stupid drivers. For drivers that drive around me, I appreciate that. But for drivers that know how to drive, uh, it's annoying. Like, I'm, I would love my daughters to have a car that did this shit. It would make me feel better. But could I drive one all day? No, hell no. Put me back in a 79 Ford Bronco. With a 351 modified Cleveland on it. Jeez. Those were the days. I need to change the spark plug or the oil. I could do it myself. Now you can't even touch them. Can't even put them in the shop for, you know. Even to put them in the driveway is a hundred bucks. You know, you don't even get a car wash. I don't know. This is weird. Like I could, it'll stop automatically at the stop sign. That's just fucked up. Like red lights, it'll stop on you. It, like I, I, sometimes I don't want to stop and I try to catch the light and I want to go. Uh, it won't let you do that. That's weird. So, you know, this is my uh, new AI car review, I guess. We'll call it that. How to drive an artificial intelligence car. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan, but I'm not totally against it either. Um, some people need this shit. Uh, and that's obvious. But the people that need it are the ones that won't be able to afford it. Except for old people, you know. What elderly people are. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, teenagers and reckless drivers are the ones. They should be mandatory. If you get in an accident by the law and you have to put the breathalyzer in your car, you should have to drive a car with mandatory automatic braking, signaling, and all that shit. It should be mandatory. Uh, Beltlip29, who is a police officer, should agree with me on that one. Um, there's too many goddamn assholes on the road today. No respect for the laws, the roads, this drive through, every, you know, not around here. I'm in the burbs, burbs, burbs. Uh, but as I get closer to uh, work where I have bomb threats and stuff, uh, yeah, it becomes quite prevalent. You like that word? If you can spell it, I'll give you a free sticker. All right, I gotta go. Uh, this is called Smithbridge Road. This is actually a super cool road. Before I go, let me tell you a story. So this road goes all the way into the state of Delaware, and uh, it goes into what was known as uh, the Haunted Woods, where a Satan worshiping church was. So, with that story being said, um, for many years, teenagers, back in my high school days, I'm not sure about so much anymore because they, 
have leveled the road out. It used to be so much more hillier. Like, you couldn't even see traffic. I mean, you could get air here. You could get air up here. You could get air up here. But there's a major road up fire, a major bump up here, down on the hill, where you could get major air. Well, five teenage girls were uh, doing some whippets and flying down the road and they did a major jump into a tree, split the car into pieces, they all died. Uh, and about like a year later, five boys did the exact same thing in the tree next door. That's 10 kids from the same high school dead, like almost in the same square footage. And they were all huffing. We never did that shit in school. You know, I might have sniffed super glue. I thought that, or rubber cement. Yeah, rubber cement was the best. Yeah, but they, you know, that got you, uh, I got you a little nauseous. And I was probably on like four, or whatever. But uh, yeah, right up here, here we come. I mean, you can't appreciate these hills right here on my camera, but we're, we are going downhill. They're telling you to stop. They're telling you to slow down. They were actually coming the opposite direction that we're coming at. Now look at this. Whoop, whoop, slow down. Whoop, whoop. And you come down here. Here we are at the bridge. You can get some major, you used to be able to get some major air off this bridge. Wow! And there used to be divots right there. Bam! But this hill right here, that tree, right in there. I don't know if it's still there. But it came off that hill, right into those trees, about 15 feet up in the air. And the cars just exploded sickening so and, and by the way at the end of this road if you go continue straight I'll be making it right because I have to go up to the dealership but if you continue straight it goes across the Delaware state line and it goes into what we call Satan's church it goes into the Brandywine River Valley beautiful beautiful if you have a, a motorcycle this is one of the most beautiful motorcycle roads around all, people from all over ride their Harleys around here um, that's my grandparents' church, actually, uh, back in the day. Back in the day, World War II veterans. My grandmother was on a nursing ship. My grandfather got shot down as a pilot, and that's how they met. So that's how I was made. Uh, World War II. Proud of that. Proud of our country. So, I'm making it right here on North Route 202. I'm actually right north of the border of Delaware. The border of Delaware is right there. Home of Joe Biden. Actually, he's not too far down the street. I, can, I know where his house is. Uh, but we can't say that too loud. I might get tagged. But old log-tailed fence, my old job where I used to, uh, you know, cut the wood and do a bunch of uh, videos and my old videos is right over there. It, it's gone. They knocked it down. It sold. Yeah, and then I moved to Florida. Man, this is like a nostalgic old trip. Ah, that was fun. Anyways, what was I going to show you? Oh, I can't go down there. I gotta get to the uh, car. Uh, another time I'll take you down. It's, it, there's a covered bridge down at the other end. It, when you get into Delaware, there's a covered bridge that goes over the Brandywine River. And there's parking and there's uh, such beautiful trails and everything. But then then again, there's a Satan church. So we'll get into that another time, guys. Uh, this car's just fucking just starting on me. It's weird. Weird. Weird car. I'm scared. Later.